Hey guys, Ryan with Fluid Health and Fitness. Today showing you how to do a double leg bridge with external rotation of the femurs in the socket with an exercise band. So what I'm going to do is take this red exercise band. It's about a 15 pound tensioned band. I'm basically going to lasso my femurs and then tie a slip knot so that it stays fixed around my knees. So I don't need anything special. You can use a piece of TheraBand. Uh, nothing really out of the ordinary. And really what we're trying to do is work on the pivoting of the femur so that it externally rotates in the socket. This is different than an abduction position where you're just drawing the leg away from the midline of the body. You're actually pivoting the femur in the socket externally. So there's a little bit of a rotational element to this. So what we're doing is we're working on the ER rotators Again, glute max is one of them that's your most superficial. And we're trying to get the lower portion of our glutes. Um, we're going to be doing this from a bridge. So the orientation here is to maximize the efficiencies of the glute and or the external rotators to maintain the stability of the femurs when we're putting weight on our legs. So from a laying position or a bridge position, your knees are roughly at about 90 degrees. Okay, maybe a little bit deeper than that. And again, I'm on my back, supine. We're going to start by fixating the spine. So we always start with the bracing breath out, get all the air out. You're going to squeeze your pelvic floor. Next stage would be to engage your glutes. So you're going to pre-contract your glutes. And then you're going to push down through your heels, lifting the hips up to neutral. And at the top of the press, you're pulling back through your heels. So once again, we're just mimicking gait mechanics, center out, down to the extremities. And then the final position, or chain of events would be the ER rotation at the top. And then you're gonna come down, keeping the glutes contracted, slowly letting your knees come back into neutral, and then brace back up again, open the femurs up, hold the abdominal tension, slowly come down to a count of six. So again, I'm gonna breathe all the air out. Pelvic floor, glutes, press up, pull back through the heels, externally rotate through the femurs, and slowly control the hips down as you breathe back in. Breath out, all there out, pelvic floor, glutes, brace up, pull back, ER, and slowly come back down. And you would do that for two sets of 20 repetitions. So ultimately what we're doing is isolating the glutes and the external rotators. We know that these are traditionally weak on most people. So our proximal hip flexor to our proximal hip extensor, the ratio of force there is out of balance. So we're specifically targeting the weak ER rotators or hip stabilizers. The glute is both a propulsion muscle, but also a sacral iliac stabilizer. So we need it to make sure that our hips stay stable when we're moving through them or shifting weight from side to side. So once again, questions on it, reach out admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com, but stay after it, two sets, 20 repetitions.